Hi, this is JK. In this video, I am going to configure Suprema XPass access control system. If you want to know more about the features and specification of the XPass, you can check it from the Suprema website. So we have XPass, magnetic lock, exit button and the MyStar server. Here you can see the specification of the device. In this download section, we can get the latest firmware for the XPass and user manual etc. So let's open the user manual or the installation guide. In this PDF, we have all the information that will help us to install and configure the Supreme XPass. Here you can see the components what we are getting with the package. Here is the part name and features and over here you can see the XPass LED status info. Here you can see the cable and connectors. All the cables are with the color code so easily we can identify the cable from here. If you are not using a PoE switch, you can use a DC power supply to power up the XPass. So let's open the device and see what is coming with the package. It's a quick start guide. You will get all the wiring diagram and everything on this one. So how we can download Wavestar Server 2 the drilling template and this package we have a connector for the UTP and there is a mounting screw there is a PVC hanger also there is a heat sink not heat sink it's a heat shrink okay then uh, there is a diode also okay so this is the device and it's coming with the mounting bracket so let's uh, check it how we can add this one to the biostar server as you can see now the xpass is powered up uh, with poe so this is the connector we are using to connect to the network and i connect the push button and also to the magnet. I installed the Biostar server on this PC. You can see in the desktop there is an icon for Biostar server. I am opening it and loading it to the Biostar server. Here you can see the dashboard. So I am going to add the XPath to the Biostar server. So I am going to device and click on search. As you can see, it's found one device from the network and getting the IP from the DHCP server. So I want to use this one, a static IP. So I will click on set IP and uncheck the DHCP. Here I am using the IP address to do one. So let's apply. It will take some time. So after changing the IP, search again. As you can see, it's coming with the new IP address. So select the device and click on add. One device is added. So as you can see, it's connected to the Biostar server. Just click over here and just click on sync device. It's success. Now you can see that the device is added to the Biostar server. Here you can see the device ID, the name, the group, device type, IP address, device status and firmware status. If it's an old firmware, it will show you here. So let me install the device properly, then I will continue the video. The device is installed outside the room, also the magnet and the push button. Now we are going to create a new user and enroll the access card to that user. This is a new access card. It's not authenticating. So let's go to the PC and configure the new user. Now we are going to create a new user with access card. So let's go to user, add user, give a name, user ID, group, brigade, 
operator level then you can see in the credential we have four options xpass only support card so we will click on card select the device from drop down list so let me read the card when you click the read card you can see the xpass is flashing so keep the x card near to the device it will read the card you can see that it's read the card so click on enroll now you can see the card is added to the user so click on apply now you can see the created user over here when you check the user you can see the id name group access group and here you can get the access card information now we need to transfer this user to the device so click on the user transfer to device and select the available device then click on transfer it's transferred to the device now so let's see now we are able to open the door using the access card now you can see that the door is locked so let me push the button door is open from outside the room you can see the door is not opening so let's use the card now it's working the created user now is able to access the door with the card here you can see the device i added one more device so let's go back to the dashboard now you can see we have five users including the administrator four card two devices two door and one access group so here is all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.